This month's Mayor's Council of Guam meeting had a few special guest appearances to include Minority Leader Senator James Moylan, who spoke on his bill to establish a public-private partnership for the repair, rehabilitation and maintenance of village sports facilities. At the onset, I think the mayors agreed to support the, the bill, um, 5036, because of course in the end it supports our, our recreational and our sports facilities. To that end, the, the mayors adopted a resolution to support 5036. As we reported, GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez is working to set up community learning centers throughout the various school districts in efforts to allow for more accessibility to technology for students. As we know, there are 13 already that DOE has, has set up, and what they're looking at is trying to branch out into our other programs and our after-school programs perhaps, and maybe even some of the organizations that we have within the village, and to perhaps create other types of community or computer labs within the community. And so that can be uh, through the utilization of our offices or other spaces within the community that a computer lab is is suitable for. Other notable presenters included Colonel Mike Cruz and Major Melvin Palarca of the Guam Army National Guard, speaking on working with village mayors to conduct heavy equipment training and clearing land in exchange for a place to put their heavy equipment into use. Alex says this is an opportunity for a win-win scenario. Uh, bottom line, the National Guard needs some training areas, and so they're looking for large pieces of property within the villages so they could stage their heavy equipment and, and the things that they need to train. And in return, they'll either, if it's a clearing that's necessary, then they'll do the clearing. So of course, there's no payment for it. We don't have to pay the National Guard to do it. It's really just a, a trade-off in services. Uh, they get their training and we get our property cleared and, and, and worked on. With the National Guard having the means to perform these types of clearings, all that's left for the mayors is to get the proper permits. Alex says this could also be some good news for CLTC leaseholders. I forgot which mayor it was asked about CLTC property and that's great. You know, that's that's definitely uh, definitely going to help the, the, the leaseholders because they're going to need, a lot of them need a clearing into their property, right? That's definitely going to be something useful. Of course, like I said, the, the bigger deal for the office side is that they're going to have to acquire the necessary permits and pay the fees that are, are required for those permits in order for the clearing to be done.